Hey everybody, this is Grace, and it's 6.51 on August 21st, 2023. And you know, this is my ninth year anniversary of making videos on YouTube, on my original channel. Nine years, wow. <laughs> well, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot of what not to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way to uh, position myself. See what kind of food delivery orders I get today and uh, by myself in the morning. I did already said that day at 6.52 a.m. And um, we'll see, I'm, I'm pretty much tired, I'm telling you, of these services and I'm doing more than one. Uh, apparently, they want me to take an hour for five bucks. Yeah, because they'll say that it's going to be 20 minutes, but do they really understand? <laughs> I know they're, they're supposedly professionals at this, but, uh, yeah, have they actually had people out there driving this that don't um, drive crazy, drive way over the speed limit, but, you know, drive, I don't know, I'm just saying, just saying. And, uh, but I think really honestly what is a big problem with it is that in this area, lots of areas in Texas that I've known, I mean I've lived in several states, I've born and raised in Texas though, and I've lived in this part most of my adult life, uh, this part of Texas, and they, it used to be people just simply called it a zone to where um, ha um, there's not many restaurants and any kind of uh, commerce, would be any kind of uh, businesses um, around the homes, apartments, and all that. So, in order to get to a place to eat, you know, like I'm saying, I'm putting myself in position, you have to drive quite a bit, okay? And uh, it's not going to be right, you're not going to see the, the, the icons, you know, when you look out your window pretty much. Well, some people do, but anyway, it's, it's wide open spaces in Texas. So, my drive, you know, that they'll say it's 2.2 miles, miles to the, the restaurant or to the person's home, and maybe it actually would be 2 point something miles, but there's the traffic and um, then the drive back. You know, they'll do the, the whole thing of 2.2 miles, bad traffic to get there, and, uh, because, yeah. And then, like I said, you're in this mess. It's a big mess. Any, you know, so many people come into those places. And then they'll have these, um, they have these, like, little, like, they used to be called strip malls, but they're not even that big. Just a little, few little things right there in one, one section. You know? Just a few. Okay, where did I leave off? But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how to explain this. Like this, this right here, there's a McDonald's right here. And there, there are, I think, like, I think there's a Little Caesars across the street. They've, they've changed that a few times, but, yeah, um, or was it that one or another one that they kept changing? Um, but anyway, there's not that much around here. There's a pet car, a pet supply place, and that was the one that I got that bag. The woman in, in the store, she brought it out and put it in back of my SUV, so I didn't know how heavy it was. And oh my goodness, really. Okay, I was just sitting here just talking away, and I have a feeling that everything I said <laughs> did not get uh, recorded. Wow. Huh, yeah. But anyway, I'm at this, um, this my position here. There's McDonald's, there's a Kroger over there, there's a, uh, pet supply, and I was talking about that. Maybe I got the clip, hopefully. There's something that says now open, and I was saying, maybe I'll go check it out. And then I looked at my phone, and it had gone back to the other screen. So maybe I was talking while it was on picture or photo. But anyway, I did learn, I mean, I didn't really have to learn, but I did learn, I'll just say it that way how to um, crop, I think, 
the um like I didn't know. <laughs> I just didn't know that this did it. Okay, seriously, this uh, Kind Master and how to do it on Kind Master, but to clip these um, screenshots. And even though I said I wasn't going to do the screenshots, I've had a different. Uh, I have had a change in mind. I'm that you know me. If I say I don't, I'm not going to do something. I'll generally wind up doing it. Or if I say I'm am going to do something, I wind up not doing it. But anyway, I've, I've been able to crop it, and as far as I know, it would not be showing up as an interactive, you know, where people can push on their uh, certain ones. I know uh, my desktop definitely click on, I saw that on somebody else's video, click on it and it's interactive, okay? I don't know if they had to be online or what, or if I were online or what, but they could look through my, all of my gallery, no. I, I, there's nothing on there but it's, you know like people I know in their pictures and I, you know other than the clips I'm making for videos I just don't want people people don't won't know the people I know you know <laughs> oh boy but I am curious what is now open over there I wonder if it's still that sign for the pet supply place could be but um, like I was saying in that earlier video there's not much out here and that's how it is. They have little bitty, you know, little bitty shopping centers. There's one little, very tiny one across the street in front of me, behind that McDonald's. And then you have to go travel down here probably a mile, and then there are a few more. And that's how it is. And all these are houses. This is Texas, wide open spaces. They don't like the houses too close together. Some of them are, but uh, in various neighborhoods, but uh, it's a lot of driving, and but even if it says 2.1 miles, okay, it's 2.1 2 miles, but where is that to? The restaurant? <laughs> I've, I've seen that happen, and then they tell you how far it is. You know, on certain ones, like I say, I'm using more than one of these to do, um, to do uh, deliveries, one, more than one service. And it, it just seems to vary. I'm really going to pay attention. Today I'm really going to cherry pick too. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you on a bit. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Well, I drove around to see what that now open is. And it's a sh sushi place. And the other one that was... The other restaurant that was here is gone. And so that's only one restaurant. Besides McDonald's over there. They've got a Kroger. And a pet supply, any of the places I would be delivering from the other stuff is like a massage place, tutoring place, and haircut place. And my stomach is growling. Hopefully, hopefully you didn't hear that. Plus, there's a bank over here. But it's 7.15. And, uh, my goodness, what in the world is that? But 7.15, and, um, not much is open, so... I don't know what that is next to me, but it looks like something scary sitting in the back. Like a, um, they're ready for Halloween. In the back of this car that's just sitting there. Anyway, but that's beautiful, huh? The sun, if it comes out right. But maybe I need to move down to the other place. Anyway, I have it. I have it. Let's see what's going on here. Huh. I still have the other one on, so anyway, let's just end this and see what happens. Okay, I delivered my first one, but before that, I decided I was going to go get some breakfast. Went into the place. There, there, there was nobody up front, and apparently you have to order by a kiosk or something. But no, I'm old school, and I've been going to that place for many, many years. And uh, I didn't know that, but, the, but I would do it. Except for that the woman was extremely rude who finally come up there and said, excuse me, not mean, not like you owe me something, nothing like that. I'm a nice person. And she was so rude. So unbelievably rude. <laughs> and then she said, well, you're supposed to order over there. You know, one of those, I guess they call them kiosk, I don't know. And she said, but I'll take you here. And I said, no, you won't. <laughs> I said, no, thank you. And I left. Well, as soon as I left, I got an order for the bag of <laughs> And she was rude when I went and picked it up. She just brought it out when I picked it up. 
And, I'm, and I was backing up to leave, you know, thinking, man, this customer service does not exist anymore. And uh, I was backing up and I got an order because, you know, I have to be in motion. Not always. Usually the first one, no. But after that, yes. So, anyway. Okay, so I had dropped off the order, but when I got my food and she was rude again, <clears throat> I, you know, they'd ask, you can put a, you can rate them, basically rate them and put why. And I put on professional staff. I rated them. You bet I did. When did we ever get to say, look, you don't treat customers or anybody like dirt. Just think you can because who are you? <laughs> Nobody should, no matter who you are. No matter where you see yourself on some to imaginary totem pole, you don't get to treat people like that. So, period. But just rude. Ugh. We, we live in a world where there's too much rudeness. You know, and yesterday, <clears throat> I saw a new, to me, um, GigTuber, you know, does videos about delivering. And I could have sworn, I said, oh, she must be in Texas. And sure enough, a license plate came up, you know, she walked past one and, yep, Texas. And I thought, maybe even here, because one of the stores she picked up, I keep getting, um, request for this place and i've never even heard of it before but it's usually way too off the pro the uh, mountains way way too off and uh <clears throat> so uh, finally it said she was in austin yeah and i was thinking there's a few people in austin i used to live in austin it was a long time ago but anyway but anyway i dropped that order off and immediately they sent me another one now i'm in allen texas and they sent me one for Lucas, Texas. Usually I start off in Lucas, Texas, and they wind up sending me back to Allen, or Richardson, or Garland, or Dallas, even yes, day before yesterday. Uh, they sneak it somehow. I'm serious. I am serious. They don't want me in this, whatever suburb I'm in at the time, it feels like. <laughs> you know, it really does feel like that. If I'm over here now, I'm not going to just an hour. Okay, anyway, that wasn't... Uh, that was a different kind, and no, it was, speaking of Richardson, they tried to send me to Richardson, and uh, I'll explain this, but uh, those are closer to Dallas, and uh, and the drive itself would be, it, it said how many miles it is, but I didn't even check it, because it, I just look at the name of the, the, the town, and they're always screwed up, the, um, you know, on one of them. Their, their directions are just wrong. I'm serious. Was it last night? Not before last. Yesterday I took off. And I think this is the first time in almost a month I took off. And I'm not making her hardly any money either. But, I mean, seriously. But I went to, uh, because of this these long trips. Man, seriously, long trips. And anyway, we went to, you know, Adam was with me in one of these places, you know, sent me, sent me to deliver from a pizza place. And my goodness, the directions were crazy. First I had to go into a, um, it was nighttime, it was late. And I said I wouldn't do them, but Adam wanted to try it. We did it, tried it twice, don't like it. But uh, you know, he goes with me for safety as it is. So anyway, we it had to go into this business. You know, with just businesses there. I'm like, this is spooky. You know, who would be at work at this time of night? Yeah, but then it told me to turn and go back onto the road I was just on. What the crap? So I took that road and it said go this way. That way. And I'm like, where in the world is it sending me? You know, where? Sending us, you know, he was with me. And then it sent me to an apartment complex. But then it decided it wanted to send me to, to the one on the other side of the road. And I was not doing wrong. I was following its rules. It's, it's directions. Go this way, go that way. And they said, oh, go back across the street again. What the crap? And then it said turn left, and guess what? No, the, the woman finally called me. She goes, are you having problems? And she had actually left a note, and I thought it was they left a note. If you can't find the person, let's make, you know, let, you know, make different arrangements with the customer. Okay, if you can't locate the place. Well, what the, what the woman did wrong was she put her apartment number twice and she put it as with the street number and apparently it doesn't like that so then it sends you all over the place and i should have told her but i really didn't think about it until after i left 
But it sent me to this, this building. I was at the right building. And I said, there's no way to get on the other side. We even tried to get it. Yeah, I did. I drove. I tried to get on the other side and of the building. See if that, those places. And the woman called me. She said, you know, where are you? What are the doors like? And I said, the doors are this. And I said, the garages. So it has garages. And she said, you know, I'm next to this this place. You see it right when you come to my house. And there's this this automobile color and this automobile. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> she, uh, so I finally, she, she, I finally found her. It was on the other side. And that's not the first time that's happened to me. It's the whole thing of that has never happened to me that bad. But it's always like you go into a gated community and they say, turn, turn uh, left. It's always turn left when it's on the right side. That was not the first time, like I said. And I'm following the instructions. They didn't even have arrows on which directions to go. And I'm listening to it and I'm doing what it says. I'm looking up and I see it says turn that direction. Make sure I'm going the, you know, the correct way. Uh -uh. No, they, and, and it's not just one. <laughs> it is not just one. That's right. That's just all kinds of wrong. You know, and anyway, I'm doing today. I'm thinking, you know, I've been out here since what time did I say? Like 7 o'clock? It's 8.10 now, and I've had one order. whoop de dee doo And uh, the other ones, like I said, two other ones. One was to Lucas, one was to Richardson. Both far. Both it would be an hour long just to get there, then an hour long back. You know, with rush hour traffic too, to boot, and kids going back to school. Come on now, get better with this, people. <laughs> I'm here because I want ones around here, like within a mile. I said I was going to do major cherry picking. Well, there's nothing to cherry pick from. I mean, those two denied. I mean, why would I take something that's going to take me through all of that? I mean, aren't these supposed to be, you know, really good people, you know, really good things that they know what they're doing Adam keeps telling me oh you know better than they well apparently <laughs> and plus I know you know I see them say go through here go that like this one this last one it says go through down this road well, what you're doing is you're sending me down a 30 mile per hour road and through a neighborhood where yes I had to stop of course for kids I mean we stop you know kids get on the school bus and uh and, and it was a four-way stop. Everybody had to stop because the school bus was stopped right there and, uh, and right behind it. And, of course, I was the first person up there and had to stop, and I just went. I, you know, when, once it was I could go, I went. And these other people weren't going to say, I'm first! <laughs> I live in narcissism, Narcissismville. Well, this is not where I live, but I have lived here before in this suburb of Dallas. Yeah, this is North Central Texas. And, uh, anyway, let's see if they're doing anything. Oh, man, I can't believe that order. 187 is the base pay? Really? $1.87. I've never seen it that low, and I'm just now starting. And it's low as, to me, it was low already. And then they gave me the 13 cents incentive, or whatever they call it, promotion incentive, or whatever, for being on a... One of those you make a certain amount more. You know, this is ridiculous. A dollar eighty-seven. Now if I go out and now the customer, um, I think they can take away your tip, um, or, or change it, or I don't know. I don't know. I think I think you can actually do it on all of them, but you got to go through steps. The ones that I know of that I've used myself in the past don't anymore. But they can change it and they would just take it away or whatever. And it's going to be two bucks for all that trouble. This is unbelievable. And I'm not getting any, you know, it would be beeping in. I'm not getting, you know, there's more than one running. I'm not getting any. And this is the only time because of this heat wave that we're in here in Texas. Oh, my gosh. It's been 100 plus temperatures since sometime back in June. With a few days here and there that it was lower, you know, in this heat dome. And uh, here it is, August 21st. And there's, there's a saying is going to, uh, the other day, one of them said that it was going to go probably into September. And I've seen it. It, it was supposed to stop. It's supposed to go back to a normal thing, like in that low 90s. And I can work low 90s. But I'm, but I'm in a SUV, air conditioner, but I'm not going to, you know, 
um, go out and up and down these stairs to third flight and all that, you know, third floor, no, no elevator kind of thing going on. And uh, I can't, I had a bum knee as it is going up one flight is enough. But for two bucks or a dollar eighty seven, what the crap is this? I understand. I definitely understand. I've been watching these gig tubers that do these things for years now. And uh, I could understand them when they complained about stuff like this. Yeah. But some of, sometimes their, their whole attitude was they were the, the top person in the whole, I guess, pardon me, food chain. <laughs> but they're the big wigs. If it weren't for them, that kind of thing. That it was a really strong sense of entitlement. And the, the, the customer's not entitled to anything. And, you know, they are the only ones entitled. And that I didn't agree with. And the whole bad-mouthing the customer. I mean, you have customers who, yeah, are bad. That's true. You know, this is not a perfect world. But to bad-mouth just in general customers, to say in all these customers, they need, you know, like that, uh, uh I do not agree with that. And no, I'm sure plenty of the other ones don't agree. I've, I've watched them. Some disagree with people who say no tip, no trip. I'm thinking, could it possibly be um, no tip? Wait, no, wait, no, no, not no tip, no trip. It's the one they say that they're tip baited. I said, could it possibly be in trip baited? You know, not by the customer. I mean, think about it. Just think about it. But, um, did the customer really put a tip in there in the first place? And I did one of those that, I'm going to name the name because it's the only one that does it. Uh, where you dash by time. Yeah. You, know, you get an hour for actual hour of actually being active working from the moment you picked up, from the moment you accept the order until the moment you um, deliver it. And people have been debating, well, won't they then give you the ones that people aren't tipping? Because you get your, your tips 100%. But, uh, and I did um, do it for one hour. And uh, it was, they said it was one hour and two minutes or something like that. And uh, it was supposed to be 13. And um, it was 12.94 or something like that. Neither customer left a tip. And one of those customers was that one that I had that big time, hard time, and she had to go and meet me and all this stuff, you know, in front of her place, which tell me how to get there and sent me to the other side and all through that business and all that kind of stuff, across the street and all that. Yeah. And I had Adam with me. <laughs> so, I didn't know the, only other, the other ones you can do that. I don't know about that one. I don't know about DoorDash. I need to check that. But... Anyway, there's a lot of leaves. You know, we're, we're having such bad weather, such hot weather, that our neighbor's trees, the ones that have ones that usually, you know, put all the leaves in the whole neighborhood, it's not their fault. These were uh, put there, you know, when the house was built. And uh, they, because it's such heat, they lost their leaves. Like, as if it were fall, like a month ago or sometime. And I'm watching, looking right now, there's a guy that's blowing all these leaves all over the place over here. But, anyway. I think I'm going to go to the little lady's room and then be back. Okay, I went in there. And, uh... What in the world is going on over here? <laughs> what is this? I guess, oh. I guess it's the guy that's cleaning, mowing... He was taking a whole bunch of shrubs and he threw it on the other side in the woods. But anyway, I thought I saw the customer I just delivered to. Yeah, well, the one and only today, an hour and a half, one, and so far it just says $2. You know, the incentive. Oh my gosh, these people, these, I'm telling you. But I don't know what I'm going to do, if this is how it's going to continue. Once it cools, actually cools down, it's going to be different, I hope. I hope. You know, to where I'm not sitting around for an hour and a half not getting but one order that I could actually take unless I want to drive an hour or two. <laughs> that, that road trip to the Richardson from where I am now could actually take that long because the highways at the time of day, the highways would be 
parking lots. I've, I've been living here for quite a long while. And uh, so I know the score. And if I took the highway there, the interstate, that's the only way, the only fast one. And uh, plus it would probably be this place that they're doing this road construction. Well, if I took the other route, it's all road, road construction through there. And I've been through there, and mm -mm, lately, mm -mm. so like I said, then I have to come back. And the other one, Wiley and Wiley Lucas. Um, actually, I was wrong. Lucas is that way. I should have taken that order. <laughs> um, uh, or did it say Wiley? Oh my! I have to think about that. See, sometimes it's me. Yeah. But they might be just uh, banning me because I'm cherry picking, but I used already probably in the, just, just getting a few orders over a few days now. I've used about half a tank for for gas. But you know, I have to think. What was that one? Oh wow. Okay, okay. I'm home, but I wanted to add a little bit to that. I came home because I was. Basically, you know, I know people talk about having dead time. That's like when you're, I don't like that term for it, but when you're driving to the, you you're put yourself in the position, you know, wherever you're going to start from. And also coming back home and, um, you know, when you're just waiting on orders and all that. Today, I guess mine was probably around, I don't know, maybe two hours or is it two hours? But I only got one order. And, uh, let me see. Yeah, maybe two hours? Maybe, no, I'll think about it. But anyway, I think I left it, I got in the position by seven. I got home, it's not even two hours. But it's an hour and 45 minutes, something like that. My goodness. But anyway, and it was, I was just sitting there, and so I came home. I told Adam I think I'm gonna have to start doing that in Wiley and um, Murphy. Now, see, I screwed up. I, don't, I thought it was. I think it said Lucas, but I, I had said Wiley, or I thought Wiley anyway. But I'm gonna have to start out. It looks like at least on weekdays out in Murphy, Murphy and Wiley, <clears throat> different direction. And because I was just sitting there and with just that one, which was close to nine dollars, but and so that only took me twenty minutes. Now if I had more like that and so close by where they weren't taking, like I said, all these hours, you know, that would be great. But the thing of going there and then because around here, I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, like I can go to the customer's house. And there's no, um, that's why I started off the videos, there's no, there's no, you know, when I have to go somewhere, there's nothing there to take me to the next place. It's just like that's those dead hours of just driving back to some place, you know, because there's nothing usually around the houses. You have to go far to go, to, you see what I'm saying? It doubles the time, usually, doubles the time. And uh, that's just too much of weight. That was just too much, you know, because they say that was double what I what it took me. That would be an hour for those almost nine bucks, you see, instead of twenty minutes. You know, twenty. It was twenty. Twenty three, but uh, twenty two, twenty three, or whatever it was, it stated. But it actually took me a little bit longer because of the. The, the way, the route it took, I'm going to have to start just paying. No, my route, the way I did, did it for all these years, but Wally well, Murphy, I didn't do as much, but you can tell still, don't take the crazy route. <laughs> you know? Like some of them, I mean, I've been doing this for a while. Some of them, they, they will go into the neighborhood instead of staying on the main, it's FM 544, it'll go into some neighborhood just like this one did to me today took me into some neighborhood and to go pass through the neighborhood instead of just going to the main street and coming back, just turn right there, and there it was. So why do they do that? <laughs> really? But anyway, I got home, then I told Adam I was going to have to do that, and I thought about going back out, but then um, I saw my one of my dogs has um, has allergies, 
And we've taken that dog, I don't know how many times to the vet, and they, they would give, like, a steroid or, you know, whoever was there at the, that time, and some pills to take. And we did the whole, we went through the whole thing of taking away all food except for the ones, that, the really expensive kind that you buy, you know, like at PetSmart or whatever. We did all that, and we have to, we have two that are, we have to feed the same or there will be a fight, you know. And the uh, food aggression thing comes out, and uh, and they're both that that dog. We just had him fixed. That's why I always called it fixed. And uh, at the same around the same time, I, th- I think it was the same time. Um, it's not been that long ago, a month or two. But anyway, I saw him. He has these uh, all on his skin, not on his paws. The woman asked if it's on his paws. I said no. You know, it's on uh, his body. But there are a whole bunch of them. I don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. It used to be just like one patch or something like that. Well, the vet's office, we usually take it to, we take them to. And we've used that vet for our pets for, I don't know, maybe 20 years or so. And uh, that vet, they have some new person. Um, and she said, nope, can't. today's Monday. And she said he can't be seen until Thursday or Friday. I just told Adam, I said, tell her, tell, you know, just, we'll just take him somewhere else. I mean, we got loyalty, where's theirs? And we had to, we had to let them know that one time because the woman that told us she was very rude. She's been replaced, but she was extremely rude. And um, this one wasn't rude, she just, that's how it is, you know. And uh, so we don't have loyalty when our dog is bleeding because that's what I saw was he was licking those uh, patches, and they're, they're just like dry patches, but he's he's been licking it, and I couldn't really tell because the other dog was hopping all over the place, and it, it was dim in the house. We had those, uh, what are they call the uh, solar screens, you know, on the walls, the windows, I mean, not the walls, the windows and the doors, so it makes it real dim, and he's a black dog, and the other one was all over the place, you know, on top of it and everything, and I have to watch out for myself so the dogs don't kick me in the stomach, you know, my abdominal area, anywhere, really, because of this health issue. And I just couldn't do it, and so Adam looked again. He said he's already seen it, before, you know, he had seen it, um, or he didn't. I don't remember what he said, and maybe that morning, because he was saying, well, I want, he was telling me, no, last night, that's what it was. He was telling me last night that he wants to take the dog, and that's he had called before I came home. But the the phone number was making the phone was making a really weird noise at their end. He said it's happened before. Anything, my goodness! But um, so I found one, and he took you know since he couldn't be seen at his usual one when we've had so many dogs there for twenty or so years, and we're really good at taking them to the vet for when they have any problem. And uh, so no loyalty. So <laughs> seriously. Okay, you can grow your practice, but not in the expense of the actual pets. So, um, yeah. Um, so, Adam took him to the, I called, and the, the woman said he can be seen today. It was an hour and a half, and it was about an hour later. And uh, he's probably being seen right now. Adam left early to go. And I called and got the records sent to them. But uh, hopefully he's okay, because I'm, I'm quite worried about him. Yeah, and I, I'm, I wish we had some idea. And Adam kept saying, I hope they know better. I hope they, they're more experienced with this thing. Because the, all she would do is just give a steroid shot and, you know, some medicine to take. And she said she gave up. We did the thing, the whole thing of trying to see if he's allergic to this or that or the other. And I think we did it twice. And then I was just starting another time of trying that again. And I was saying, I think maybe he's laying on something. And it could be something that he's allergic to, like um, what the carpets were cleaned by, or, uh, I mean, that's quite a, a while. <laughs> but maybe something, I mean, we we're, we're grasping at straws, trying to figure it out. I mean, he's a beautiful dog, but these patches, and they just grew. There's more and more and more of these patches. And, uh, and plus, it's it's gross sometimes. He just took him a shower. We have to do him in the shower because he won't get in the tub. And Adam 
gave him a shower and a bath, you know, a bath, a bath in the shower. <laughs> but he did that just recently, and like the next, within the next, maybe even not even twenty four hours, he had these dry things coming off. And I, I told him, I said, ask them what that is, you know, because it's kind of gross all around. And the poor thing, I mean, he's got to be in a lot of, yeah, Adam said that too, a lot of pain and itching and stuff like that. And this, this vet's not helping, the one, our original one. Boy, I didn't mean to go into this long about this, but, I mean, that's, that's things like this going on at the same time of all this. You know, and the same thing with my family, you know, my family of origin, my siblings, and poor health like me, and one is in really bad shape, so... Yeah, I just had surgery and in a, you know, probably already in the um, the uh, rehab. That's just a bad situation all around, and uh, so much going on. But I, have, you know, and I, I, I kind of decided that from, from I'm going to try it again to see if I get any orders from home. Why am I going to go sit out there and waste gas? We just put gas in there in my SUV like two or three days ago. Filled, finished filling it up. And uh, it was like three quarters, maybe, empty. And uh, it was, I think it was like 50 bucks. And then three days later, it's gone, and I, I don't even know if I made 50 bucks. <laughs> I did, but, yeah, I did, but it's just not, yeah, just sitting there. I'm going to try it from home again, see if they do it. My only thing is I'm thinking, what if it disconnects from home to where I go out? Because it's not going to be on the home Wi-Fi, it's going to be on the other one. You know, the, however they do it. But if it does, it does, because I'm not going to go sit forever and just sit there. Yeah. But anyway, I'm wrapping this part up. I'm wrapping this video up. Talk to you on another video. Bye.